Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm just up the road in Lake City, Minnesota, here with my friend Luke Sullivan from Sullivan Auctioneers. Luke, you uh, you and the boys are coming a little ways for this auction here tomorrow. Yeah, we're a little further north than normal, but always look forward to branching out into new areas, and nice to be up in east central Minnesota today. Well, hopefully the uh, the weather will cooperate tomorrow. <laughs> we're talking a little snow up here, but yeah. my goodness, these three tractors, people all over the world are talking about them, Luke. And I know you, you had uh, mentioned them to me a while ago, but uh, holy cow, let's just go down the line here. The 1980 4440, how many hours on that baby? Yeah, it's, it's got about 2,200 hours on it. Uh, one owner tractor that Bill bought new. And uh, it's wow. got to be, of course, we sold some pretty neat John Deere 4440 tractors a couple years yes, ago that you, you covered, did. but it'd be in the same, same category as those tractors. Uh, I'd say as nice of an original 4440 as you could find probably and, anywhere. And these three, the 8400, the 4020, the 4440, Bill all bought brand new. Brand new, yep, one owner from the local John Deere dealership. Okay, and kind of an interesting piece of the backstory. Now, uh, Bill, he passed away last August, was 90, how he was 90? 90, 92, I believe. 92, and his father was a John Deere dealer here in Lake City, is that correct? Yeah, he actually bought the 4020 tractor from there. It was one that they had in stock around the time that his dad went out of business, I believe. Okay. And that down on the end, that's a 68 model 4020. How many hours, Luke? Right around 5,000. Wow. And kind of the the one that's really, it seems to me, even almost more chatter than the 4440 yeah. is the 8400. <laughs> yeah. What's the scoop there? That's, uh, he bought it new and it's a 98 model and has just over a thousand hours, I think around a thousand sixty five hours on it. Wow. And uh, just a pretty phenomenal tractor, probably one of the nicest 8000 series tractors we've sold in a long, long time right. since they were new. Now, um, you met Bill uh, a couple years ago, you guys had the big SEMA auctions mm -hmm. up here and got visiting with him. I understand he had you out to tour the, the farm here? Yeah. he was proud of his tractors right. rightfully so and yeah. uh, the local John Deere dealer SEMA equipment invited us out to come out and kind of take a look at him and he had some interest in possibly selling them at the time he didn't know if it thought about kind of having a retirement type auction right um, he was hoping to live to be a hundred and mm. so he didn't quite make it but he gave it a heck of a run and, uh, so we came out about two years ago and went through the sheds with them and and uh, and I understand right right behind me here folks this shed all the machinery was was in there is that correct luke yes <laughs> he was uh good at organizing and parking his equipment there you uh, go in the shed so, so when you first came out tucked in and you and he bill wanted to show you the 4440 mostly right mm -hmm. and then did you you saw the 8400 off to the side yeah he really hadn't even talked about the 8400 at that time he obviously the 4440s is unique right. and rare with right. that kind of hours on it and when i walked into the shed the 8400 was sitting there and it has the big tires on it and i said what's the story on that tractor and he said he said oh he said it's yeah he said it'd be low hour too but <laughs> he said it's newer so that doesn't wow. count and i said well what's low hours mean and uh he said well he said you better double check so i climbed up in the cab and it had around 980 hours on it at the time how big did your eyes get i said well you, that's you got something i said it might be newer but it's still 21 years old and that's only got a wow. thousand hours on it and the so. 4440 bill described that as his wife um, that's margie? margie's tractor margie's tractor. yeah yeah oh, okay so she actually put most of the hours on there and uh, she kept it covered up with bed sheets when they parked it in the wow. shed and Margie's been really helpful for you guys getting the sale Absolutely. lined up and yeah. sharp as a tack, you said? She's got some great stories. The coonskin coat that he was wearing yeah. that you shared the picture of yeah. the other day at the SEMA auction, she actually uh, skinned all the coons that, that, really? that it was made out of and tanned the hides, and then they sent them up to uh, Minneapolis, I believe, to have the coat made. Go Margie. Yeah. That is Absolutely. awesome. And uh, as you've been going through the farm here, some of the, the stuff you were showing me, Luke, some of the little uh, John Deere, Mm -hmm. I don't even know what you call it. There's, there's some old price books, some oil cans, just some really neat uh, shipping tags. There's some old John Deere. But you, you showed me are, a brand new thermometer. Yeah, a rain gauge. A rain, rain gauge. gauge. There's rain a rain gauge from okay. uh, when his dad was in, in business, Dankward Implement in yeah. Lake City, Minnesota, that's new in the box wow. with the four legged John Deere logo on it. So And some, some of those the, little John Deere jars? What yeah, were yeah, some cone top cans and oil cans and old old parts boxes probably as old as you could find it somehow with all this green paint he, they managed to have an international uh, free uh, refrigerator yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah well this is going to be a fun auction tomorrow we'll be uh filming it for the tv show luke always great fun to catch up with you guys um uh, do an awesome job and 
Now, I drove down this afternoon, I looked online, the 8400 was already up to 87,000 online. Mm -hmm. And the 40, I've never seen a 4440 hit 30K in the pre-bid until this one. <laughs> yeah. So it should be great fun yeah. tomorrow. Uh, you must be getting so many phone calls on these. It's been amazing. There's been calls from all over North America. Wow. Well, Luke, thanks for giving us the inside scoop, and uh, we'll see you out here in the morning. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Ram Trucks, premier vehicle of Machinery Peak TV.